welcome to this presentation, which is a guide to learn more about the exceptional voluntary work of White Knights Yorkshire Blood Bites. This is our motto. We'd never presume to say we've saved a life, but we'd be very proud to think we make a difference. We hope after viewing this presentation that you too will think we make a positive difference to the care of patients in Yorkshire communities. This multimedia presentation includes a number of videos to give an immersive experience of what it's like to actually be a volunteer blood biker in Yorkshire and we'll endeavour to explain exactly what it is we do for patients out of hours 365 days a year. So let's now see a blood biker in action being deployed for the urgent transfer of a blood sample from the Western Park Cancer Hospital to the Laboratory Medicine Department at Northern General in Sheffield. Welcome to White Knights Yorkshire Blood Bikes. We provide a free out-of-hours service at weekends and during the night to transport urgent blood, plasma, tissue samples, donated breast milk and other vital supplies between hospitals, hospices and health services across Yorkshire. We have a highly trained team of advanced riders who willingly ride through the night to volunteer their services to the NHS. The service we provide is continuing to expand and we are totally reliant on donations to operate the service to prevent the NHS from financing expensive private hire transportation costs. We are currently looking for sponsorship opportunities with local companies and you can donate directly to White Knights through our website at www.whitenights.org.uk If you would like to partner with us in the future then please email us at info at whitenights.org.uk Please give generously, we really need your support. This video was filmed just before midnight. It's a good example of how busy our Yorkshire cities can be at that time of night. Blood bikers need to ride to a high level of skill and to certainly keep alert, even in the middle of the night. Riding a blood bike in all weathers throughout the year takes a huge amount of dedication and commitment from our volunteers. So, time now to provide further clarity about what we actually do. It's important to remember we are not connected to or funded by the NHS. We're an independent charity and everyone who works for White Knights Yorkshire Blood Bikes is a volunteer. We strive to provide a professional quality amateur service. We take urgent deliveries, free of charge to the NHS, by volunteers. We operate out of hours, from 7pm to 7am and 24 hours at weekends. We transport urgent blood and pathology samples, tissue samples, controlled drugs and pharmacy items for hospices, case notes, x-rays, and we are even called upon to transport donated breast milk to special care baby units within neonatal units in hospitals. Sometimes that means being part of a national relay with other neighbouring blood bike groups. This screen illustrates what the urgent samples we transport can actually look like. Blood sample bottles, blood culture bottles, urine samples, swabs for infection detection all need to be transported in NHS approved carriers. Many people ask, don't the samples get shaken when being taken on a motorcycle? In fact, often the first process applied to the sample when it arrives at the lab is that technicians place the sample in a centrifuge to spin and separate the different elements to the sample, so a safe, secure and rapid motorcycle journey is never an issue. White Knights Yorkshire Blood Bikes was founded in 2008 and we like to think out of all the blood bike groups across the country, White Knights operate a high-tech and sophisticated medical transportation service so that the NHS is prevented from paying expensive private hire transportation costs. In fact, going back in time, that was always the mission of our service, although back then things looked a little different. From a house in South London, 4,000 motorcyclists may be called out on a mission of mercy at any time of day or night. They are members of the Volunteer Emergency Service, an organisation started in 1962 by Mrs Margaret Ryerson and her husband. Hospitals, welfare societies, public health authorities, blood transfusion centres, anyone in fact with an urgent transport problem that concerns people's welfare, ring this house and the emergency service goes into action.
The volunteers are scattered throughout the country and a phone call is put through to the nearest. These missions are entirely voluntary. The riders pay for their own petrol and they even pay to join the organization. 17-year-old Chris O'Hanlon, one of the volunteers in Surrey, is still at school. But here, he's being called out to deliver blood urgently required by a local hospital. At the blood transfusion center, no time is lost. Soon he's on his way again with a box strapped to the back of his bike that could mean the difference between life and death for someone. I would add that in today's health and safety climate, unfortunately, there's no way that an enthusiastic 17-year-old like Chris O'Handlon would get insurance riding for the emergency voluntary service today. All our riders are over 30 years old with advanced riding qualifications. In fact, this next film, produced by National Geographic, in association with the Nationwide Association of Blood Bikes, more accurately reflects the age range of our volunteers and the operational experiences they face when on duty. It would be totally unnatural for you not to think about what has happened to the patients. But the job may well have changed the course of somebody else's life. The evening starts at about 7 p.m. for us. Hello. The controller would ring you and say, look, OK, I've got a run for you. It is urgent. It's, it's needed straight away. It can't wait. One box of platelets to go from JR to Royal Box in Reading. The reason why we're needed within our region is that the National Health Service nighttime, weekend and bank holiday transport service might be one or two drivers. Within that area there's 26 large hospitals, any of whom could have an issue that, you know, comes up during the night. Be careful. Bye. The Nationwide Association of Blood Bikes has 25 member groups at the moment consisting of one and a half thousand unpaid volunteers and in 2014 we responded to just over 39,000 requests from various hospitals in the UK. The items that we move have to be required for the clinical care of an NHS patient and they have to be urgent. We do carry blood, but we also carry rabies serum, spinal fluid samples, surgical instruments, donor milk, CD scans. Without us, the alternatives for the hospitals are to either contact the police, to take a frontline ambulance off the road, or pay for a taxi. Everything that we do for the NHS is done free of charge. We save the National Health Service hundreds of thousands of pounds. We like motorbiking, so we're putting that into practice. And by filling that gap, those pounds can then be converted into another nurse, another doctor, another piece of equipment. That is really the, the essence of it for us. Hi, Cameron from Surf, and some platelets for Reading, please. I remember on one occasion, I took some platelets to Royal Berkshire Hospital and when I got there, the hospital technician said that he desperately needed this because he had a child that wouldn't stop bleeding. Which left a quite an impression on me afterwards. And I thought, well, maybe I've helped, maybe just that much. And when you realise that that scenario is replicated across the UK thousands of times a year by people doing exactly what you do in a volunteering role, it's an exceptionally humbling experience. That film is a realistic portrayal of being deployed from home. The motorcycle is based at the volunteer's home during their time on duty, which can be between a few days and a full week. It's typical of the quality and commitment of our volunteers. We have riders who are retired or semi-retired, and many are still working, but they all find volunteering hugely rewarding. This film does show that blood bikers are vetted and trusted personnel. We have the privilege of being given key card or PIN number or even swipe card access to microbiology laboratories so we can deliver the samples securely. Without this, taxi drivers often face a more ad hoc attempt of making deliveries if they can't access such areas of the hospital. 
The volunteers are trained to high operational standards with advanced riding qualifications with IAM RoadSmart, ROSPA, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents, and many volunteers are even former police officers. Our volunteer riders are assessed regularly. They receive additional training in handling medical samples and clinical confidentiality. There's a blood bike high-vis uniform to wear and vaccinations for hepatitis B to take also. First and foremost, blood bikers are just that, passionate bikers, and the service machines we use require high levels of skill and competence to handle safely. Here are four of the latest additions to our fleet. These are home office approved Yamaha FJR 1300 police spec motorcycles. They're 1300 cc's, 160 brake horsepower, highly stable, highly capable modern motorcycles that weigh in excess of 250 kilos. They have tracking systems on them too. Blue lights and sirens are fitted, but current legislation is such that we must not use them without expressed life at risk authorization by a clinician. We cannot exceed speed limits nor go through red lights. The bikes cost at least £5,000 a year in running costs, and a new machine like these costs upwards of £16,000 each. In the previous video, you saw someone taking a phone call with the consignment details before being deployed. White Knights operate a high-tech online dispatch system. The hospital can enter the details online or call our call centre. This sends an activation text to the rider's smartphone, which opens a web browser with the consignment details, just like when you send a parcel. The rider enters their estimated time of arrival, collection and delivery time in real time to a system which is live on the internet. This is all for tracking purposes. So how busy are we? Well, in 2017, in 365 days, we received 3,920 call-outs. That's a 17% increase on the previous year. Over Christmas and New Year, here are the figures. So from 7pm on Christmas Eve through the bank holidays ending at 7am on the 27th, we had 25 call-outs and the number was almost identical over New Year. These next graphics show the operational variations in different areas of Yorkshire. A West Yorkshire call-out is typically Calderdale Royal in Halifax into Leeds, which, there and back, can take a rider out for almost two hours. Similarly in North Yorkshire, from York District Hospital into Leeds and back, about the same time. In South Yorkshire, from the Royal Hallamshire Hospital to the Northern General, is just across the city centre, and so often takes only a quarter of an hour or so to transport. Time now for another case study to meet a White Knight's rider. Many people are surprised to see a blood biker actually looks like this. Try and get a commitment to two runs um, a month, basically, and depending on what I'm doing, because I'm a teacher, I can tend to do more um, night shifts during school holidays. So basically on Tuesday, I was on my normal uh, night shift, which is 7 p.m. through till 7 a.m. in the morning. And in Sheffield, the South Yorkshire White Nights, we've got a particular routine, so we will have two regular runs in that time between four hospitals, but then you wait for call-outs, you're on call during the night. And it was just spectacularly busy. I think it's the busiest night I've ever had. I had nine different call-outs. So go Going from just after when I started the shift, um, basically all the way up until about 5.40am I had nine different call outs. What we try and do is you try and uh, be as normal as possible, so if you get a call out there's no guarantee you're going to be called again, so you try and go to bed and relax and get ready, but basically every time I got home there was another call out and you know that in the middle of the night these are important and some of these are for very sick children in particular. So basically getting out of bed, getting back out and getting back on shift nine times during the night was very busy, but there's no way that you would ever reject a call or try and sleep because you know that if they're calling you it's it's very important and afterwards I was absolutely shattered you can't do anything the next day but you know you've done something you've been part of a machine that's helped people and that's that's very valuable Annette's story went out on social media which was then picked up into broadcast media here she is speaking to BBC Radio Sheffield and that led to exposure on BBC Regional Television, which had a positive impact on the marathon running fundraising Annette was also doing for White Nights. We're very proud of all the volunteers who give their time and energy to our charity. Next, I'd like to introduce you to our fundraising managers, Beverly and Andrew Clark. They are wearing t-shirts featuring a picture of their son, Lewis. Lewis always wanted to be a blood biker but he was tragically killed on his motorcycle on the Isle of Man before achieving his ambition. 
Beverly and Andrew are now road safety campaigners and have raised thousands of pounds for our charity. Lewis had a machine named after him. What it is, is Lewis's birthday, it fell near the anniversary of the bike, so it's quite apt really, both of them together celebrating. Um, and it's just a lovely feeling. I'm sure if Lewis were here today, he'd be so proud. Yeah, and I'm sure a little piece of him rides with this bike every day. For microbiology, the White Knights um, deliver urgent specimens from Huddersfield to Halifax, out of hours, so that's after eight o'clock at night until eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, these are what we deem as urgent samples and usually have to be dealt with in one hour. Riding for the White Knights and doing what we do helps patients in hospitals all over West Yorkshire get test results, blood results far quicker th than they would any other way. And in fact, if we weren't doing it, the NHS would have to pay for taxi after taxi after taxi to do the work out of hours. The Lewis bike carried an emergency sample from Halifax to London for urgent testing um, and it was of immense benefit to the patient um, and to know that the Lewis bike along with his rider did that really special journey and helped someone in need, fantastic. I can't tell you how it feels, I feel so proud, I'm like a proud mum. Yeah, it really, really does feel special and to know that Lewis has helped someone, brilliant. I'm certain that if the public knew what we did, the hours that we work and the fact we are purely volunteers, um, they might get behind us and we might loosen a few purse strings to help the admin, support the bikes, pay for the fuel, just keep us going. I think it's a fantastic charity. Um, it benefits patients, which is the main thing from the hospital point of view. Patients benefit and there's no doubt that in that 10 years that they've been doing the work for us, they will have saved a number of lives. I'm very, very proud of the riders, of the charity, of the people who raise money for us. You know, companies that give us money, companies that donate to us. Brilliant. Keep it up. Thank you very, very much indeed. That emergency trip from Halifax to London and the 852 missions in Yorkshire in the first 12 months of those new machines goes some way to illustrate the exceptional service our volunteers contribute to patient care in Yorkshire communities. We started out with our motto, and we now hope that you also think we make a great deal of difference, and that in the future you might recommend the work and service of White Knights Yorkshire Blood Bikes. Thank you for listening. Please consider financially supporting our charity. We're totally reliant on donations from the public. Why not follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Yorkshire Blood Bikes. Our website is www.whitenights.org.uk.